morning we've got some lovely blue skies in south yorkshire today um yeah let's see what we get up to keep watching So let's get this day started. First things first, we always straw up and feed the cattle. Most important part of the day. Looks like we might need a mix a little bit later as well. So while my dad comes out, I'll jump on the TM and we'll start doing a bit of feeding round. I'll tell you what, it's not that warm today. It's a bit, been a bit of a frost. A little bit of ice on my windscreen this morning. Oh, yeah, glad no, we've not got to uh, maize in the ground. Need it to be a little bit warmer, I think. Anybody else planted any maize yet? Maybe down south? Anyone in the ground here planted any maize? Let us know in comments. Because we need to start thinking about it, I think. Getting stuff ready for it. The dad's come out now. So he's just tipping in the feed. Pigeons. And he's back. I think some bales. And all the cattle are getting a bit vocal now. Especially the new ones, they're wanting their feed. Um, so yeah, as soon as I start hearing the machines, they're like, me, me next. Oh, yeah, I want some food. So we've got some new ones in this outside pen. Not really been utilising this much recently. But, um, yeah, I just need that little bit extra space. Right, I'm going to leave them finishing off the rest of the... Let me put this on. I keep getting in trouble for not putting this blue thing across. This room's dog has escaped. Um, I need to go and get some uh, Roundup from our local uh, spray seller. So I'm just going to pop out in the pickup and get that. Right, we'll get off. Look at that cow chewing down some grass. Nice. Right, let's get back. <laughs> let's get set off, Joe. Come on. Now I can get spraying. Ta-da! I'm back at the farm. Um, so I've got the Roundup. Well, it's not it's not the brand Roundup, but it's glyphosate. And um, we're going to head over on the horizon there. I did the majority of the field, but around the outside, I didn't have enough to spray to put on. So we're just going to go around the outside and get the um, the grass and stuff that's, that's grown up. Kill it off before we can put the muck on and then plow or try to whatever we're gonna decide to do with that land uh, to get it ready for the maze it's coffee time becky's here she wants me to look at a car seat baby seat so becky's having a go at using this a friend's car seat what's it called a dogma dogma donna you can read my dear is that what it says doona oh doona Anybody got a Duna car seat? Do they like it? Is it any good? It makes it into like a, a pram. Yeah? Yeah. Right. How'd you get it out then? So Becky's got it out now in the pram. Oh no, that, that bit that bit comes back, doesn't it? So you can actually push it. And it does extend so it's not like a kid's one. So that's it, pram style in the straw. This is not sponsored. <laughs> this is not sponsored by D D D Donna. Is, by, um, is it Donna? Joe's mom. Joe's <laughs> mom and my mom. Joe's gonna sponsor me with. Uh, I'm not even gonna say the word. What? Saying fucking kitchen. I'm not saying kitchen. Right. <laughs> not saying kitchen. Right. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how to make it stay in that position. Maybe you can. Is it? It must do. I feel like I'm going to get it up now. It's up again. Do you want me to have a look? I think I've sorted it now. Go. What's that? Maybe because it's Yay! just... Yay! I did it! You got it? And then that clicks onto the base. And then this supposedly will uh, revolutionise Becky's life. Says the person who's never done the score run. Yes, it will. And anyone who does know the score, do the score run, will know how stressful it is. There we go. No, it's not done. 
So you're going to get a new one then? Yeah, because your mum and my mum are getting me one. Because they're kind and they get me nice things. <laughs> what are they getting me? All right. Can I have a kitchen, please? A kiss? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Road sweeper in yard today. Board plane. Yeah, so they're just tipping off some planings. And he's blasting some ad blue. We need to get a pipe, don't we? Mm. Put an IBC on here. I think then that yeah. Have a pipe I've got ad blue for years. <laughs> right, I'll get on the beast. Right, my dad's off with a load of cattle and then on to Thirsk. Should we get some more? Andy's going to be doing some milling. So he's going to use a TM and... Oh, look at that. He's already, uh, he's already got the 130 on. Business. Right, I've got to the field. There's a lovely, lovely muck that we're going to spread on here. And we're just going to try and spray off all this greenery so that um, when Andy comes to plough it, everything is dead sort of the weed problem for now we've got in a stale seed bed so we're getting a bit further down here and of course we've got all the uh, the rubbish and the fly tipping from the cannabis farmers around our local area particular highlights around here paint rollers and my particular favourite, the art in the tree. Oh, and a sofa so that you can um, look at the wonderful view across the fields. I've spotted something. Bonus. A tennis ball. Now, what am I going to use this for? Can anybody think what I might use this for? I think I've talked about it in previous videos, but we've got one. Oh, she's looking a beast. The boom's just blending into the hedge. These here are all new eco council houses being put up on some council property. Back into the yard and I think I might just go and take another tank up there because there's a bit of ground still growing which I want to get under control before we uh, before we cultivate it. Oh look, Andy's on with the bucket brush. We don't really use this a great deal. Um, but uh, yeah, he's on it. He's been brushing out the shed. I can just see all the dust coming out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's making a tidy job in the shed, actually. And he's just filling the mill now. He's just swapped buckets back over. We do get a lot stuck on the floor, though. Andy is just milling the barley. It looks like we've just got a little, little pile in the uh, corner of the shed now. Got a bit of an avalanche going on there. It's a big shed that we've got here. We've got all the space, so the little mixed little um, grain trailer and it's pulled out, then he's pushed all that in. And yeah, we've got we're getting plenty of space on the job now, which is good. Is this up on purpose? Yes. You're having a giraffe. I think most of you will know the joke with that. Um, if you knew, you might not, and uh, hopefully, you don't find out. <laughs> yeah, so I'm back in the field now the sprayer here and this is the stuff that we're trying to kill ground salt so uh, it's very hard to kill it um, in the crops but Roundup will kill it it's very good at it and even this in the muck hill can survive uh, so I was just having a quick look to see if I could cultivate it and get rid of it I could just leave this um, leave the spraying of this cultivate the 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 ground and it kill it just with the method of like cultivating but um i rang the agronomist but it was it was busy at the time so i thought oh, put it in the tank now i could have done a, a pre-emergence um on the maze and added a bit of glyphosate in with it and i suppose that would have um, that would have sorted it but um what i did find on the internet is it said it was just like a gardener's advice thing it's like if you have ground still, do not compost it because it will probably come back. So I thought, right, I'll take that as advice and um, we'll get it sprayed off and killed, I think. Uh, yeah, so we're doing the right thing, I think. Before I set off, look, we've got the police here. On the lane, what a surprise. Here again. Oh, I've just folded up because I need to 
just get in there and spray this bit off where the uh, fly tipping is. But I just thought we'd come and have a look at the uh, the additional fly tipping that we've had recently on here. This is nice, isn't it? Somebody's left some. Uh, oh, it looks like the council have been. It's under investigation. So we've got windows and doors, some beds. An egg shot if anybody wants that. And yeah, just lots of people's rubbish. Lovely. Splitting isn't a haven for crime, fly tipping, antisocial behavior then I don't know what it is. I don't. Like that's how the, that, that's one of our neighbors fields and that's how they get into the field. So can you imagine like me turning up with a sprayer today? It was clear yesterday, turn up with a sprayer today. There's all that fly tip in there. I've got no way of moving it apart from getting out and shifting it by hand if, uh, if you want to risk doing that. Um, yeah, it's just frustrating, man. Really frustrating. Well, anyway, get on with this frame. I'm just running out a clean out cycle now. So it's pulling clean water in, running it through um, the tank, and then we'll spray it out, spray it out onto the fields, um, bits where I've not sprayed, just to clean it. Now I'll probably go back to the farm and do the same again, we'll put some more water in. Just because, like I just say, we do not want to be chancing having any residue left spraying it onto a crop tail like wheat or barley, because it'll just kill it. So, um, we need this spray to be really clean. Back in the yard now, I've parked the sprayer away. We've just turned the mill off, um, and it's been doing some milling this morning, because I need this tractor to now go fertilise the spreading um, on our barley. So, that's the plan now. We're going to drop this off, put the fertiliser spreader on, and get out there. We'll get this all disconnected. Job done. Just wash off the windows because they're looking very mucky. So Andy's just getting the bags out. I can hear it beeping from here. Must be getting a bit of weight on there. Then we've got to hook up to the uh, fertilizer spreader so I can get out there spreading it. Um, but this video is getting rather, rather long. So I think what I might do is leave it about here. But I have got one more thing to do. Is mix dimensions for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. A happy birthday to Thomas Jordan, who was 15 a few days ago, because I missed him out on these YouTubes. And Phil Hawkins, also a happy birthday to you. We've now raised £4,619 for Yorkshire Ambulance, which is fantastic. Thanks a lot, guys. The possibility there might be a part two today, or I might just do a, a live on YouTube. But, um, yeah, from me and Andy, yeah. it's an early finish. Well, not yet. Well, for the video. <laughs> Probably won't be an early finish. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Sharing it's really good, Andy. You know yeah, that? Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. That's what I'm talking about. And share Andy's stuff as well. Thanks. Crazybull.co.uk or TikTok. To get the t shirts. Yeah. Well, I, was on no, no, I've got my no. Josie also on. <laughs> I, I save it for best, that one. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You just don't wear it. <laughs> yeah, I never wear it. No, no, I do. I, um, I, it's nice. It's nice blue colour, isn't it? I like it. Yeah. yeah. Right, anyway, let's crack on. Business. Bye, guys.